Last week, year two, we looked at making different types of line in our lesson. And this week, we're going to use those lines to make our own sunflower drawing, a bit like this. And you can see that in each section, I have used a different type of line. I've got curved lines, I've got circles, I've got scribbled lines, I've got shaded lines, all the things we talked about last week. So to do this year two, you're going to need your sketchbook open as a clean page. You will need a paper plate, not a plastic plate, a paper plate, a pencil, sharpener and a rubber. And you will also need to have open on your screen a picture of a sunflower. You don't need to print this off, you can just use it on the computer, okay? Now if you look at the sunflower, it is divided into one, two, three sections. And what we're going to do is we're going to break our page into four to make it easier to draw. So, this is what I'm going to start by doing. I'm going to turn over the plate and just draw around it. Okay, and that gives me the basic shape of the outer petals, okay? And then inside, to make this outer section of the middle and the middle section, I'm going to take a mug, and for the outer section, I'm going to use this end to draw around, and for the inner section, I'm going to use this end. So I'm going to place it in the middle, and just lightly draw around it, and then I'm going to place it in the middle of that circle and lightly draw around that. And I've created three circles like this. And that shows me all the different parts of my sunflower. Okay, so now the first or the next part is to do this pattern in the middle of the sunflower. And if you can see, it's got little circular sections. They start off really close together in the middle and then they move out. And it looks if they're going round in a spiral shape. So I'm going to show you how to get that effect. Okay, so I'm going to start off in the middle. We said they were all really close together. So I'm going to do little circles really tightly packed together like this because that's what I see. Some of the shapes are more pointed like this. Now as you move out of the middle those little um, circles get wider and wider apart so I can see gaps in between them and you need to keep working adding bigger gaps as you go out, okay? So what I suggest you do, year two, is to look at your picture, see how they start up, the little seed heads start off really close and they get wider apart as you go. So you can show that in your picture. Now, what I suggest you do here too, is fill up that whole section with those dots like this, and then you want to add the spiral effect. And you do this by starting in the center and moving out. This creates a spiral effect in the center of your sunflower, okay? Once you have done that year two, you should have a sunflower that looks something like this, okay? And you have done, then you have completed this middle section of the sunflower. We now want to think about the section around this. And if you look, it's full of tiny little hairs on the sunflower that flick back. So what I'm going to do is, what I've started doing here is adding those little flicks, those types of line that we looked at the other day, little flicks. So if you look, we've got curved lines that we used the other day, we've got circles, and now we're doing flicked lines. 
circles, quick circles around the edge, just like that. And I suggest that you finish that whole section off all the way around making those flicked circles. Now, once you've completed that section, it's time for you to think about the petals. Now, if we look at the petals in the picture, the petals overlap. Some sit on top and some sit beneath. When we say overlap, we say it means that you've got two things on top of each other crossing over. So I'm going to look at my sunflower petals and I see that they start off thin at the base, they go out, get wider, and then come all pointy at the top, just like this. So they start off thin at the base and they come out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm, some of them are going to be hiding behind the others like this. So I'm going to draw, go round, and put in all of my sunflower petals like this, all the way around. Just remember to overlap those petals as you go. So you might not see the whole of each petal, so it might be hiding underneath. And year two, you go right round the sunflower like this, creating the petal shapes. Okay, once you have done this year two, you will have a picture that looks like this. And the port important thing we need to think about now is what I've started doing, which is the shading. Now the shading is another type of line we talked about last week. So this is how we go about it. If you look at the middle of the sunflower, it's quite a light colour. And then it gets darker in this section, lighter again here and darker again here. And then the petals are dark at the base where the shadow is and they get lighter and lighter. And we need to show that by using our pencil. So the first thing we're going to do is in the center of our sunflower, I'm going to use this one as an example, we want to show that it's quite light. So when we shade, we move our hand up the pencil, we use the side, and we just want the shading to be very, very light. Okay? But then it starts to get darker in this section, so I'm going to start pressing harder with my pencil to make the shading darker. And what I can do is I can move my piece of paper around like this as I go. Okay, so the middle is quite light and then it gets darker as you go out. So you have to change how much pressure you put on the paper. Then the section around this, this part here, starts off very light here. So I'm going to do very gentle shading move my paper around and again it gets darker so I'm going to press harder with my pencil to change how dark and how light it is. So that part you need to complete as well and then on the petals if we said that they're darker at the bottom and they get lighter so I want to show that on my petals too. So here I go, I'm going to start off shading lightly over one side and it gets thinner and thinner. So I'm just looking to see where on the paint picture I can see the dark sections. I can see a dark section up the side, another dark section going up there. So I'm going to show that. on my um, drawing. It tends to be dark in the corners and light in the middle. I might just have just a few lights, dark session, sections going up. Okay, but look at your petals and see where you see the dark and the light sections, okay? And just do one more. The 
petal I'm looking at now is dark at the base like this. So you add your shading. Remember you've got your hand moved up the pencil and you're holding the pencil on the side, making sure you don't have any gaps in your um, shading, okay? So, once you have done that year three, you should have a complete sunflower going right round the page and it will be shaded all over. Let me show you this one, okay? It's shaded all over. So all this section is shaded and you've shaded the bottom parts of your sunflower like this, okay? The last step is to make all the parts of the sunflower stand out just by going over each section and pressing nice and hard on the picture. This helps the parts of the sunflower to stand out. Okay, now if you, as you're doing this, just think, just think at how many different types of line we've used in this drawing. I think we've used all the sorts of lines that we talked about in our lesson last week. You can see through this drawing how important it is to be able to use different lines in just one drawing. That's why it's so important that we practice, okay? So, um, we, use our, we do our outline of the whole sunflower and then we shade it and then we go around the outline to make it stand out. And by the end of that year two, you should have a finished sunflower that looks something like this. I can't wait to see your work on Firefly. Bye for now, year two.